All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And fellas, I found out something amazing today, dude. Oh my goodness, guys, guess what? There's a new Call of Duty coming out this year. Oh my goodness, man. I'm so shocked. I can't believe it. A new Call of Duty game coming out this year. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something right now. It cannot come fast enough, son. Oh my goodness. Yo, just drop that game now. Even if it's not even finished, just drop it. It'll probably still be better than <laughs> the current COD game. Just drop it right now, somebody. So anyway, guys, this is coming from Charlie Intel, and this is pretty cool. So today, Activision has confirmed during their fourth quarter investor call uh, on February 6th that there's a new COD game coming. The company, however, now this is a surprise. It might not be much of a surprise that we know there's a COD dropping sometime this year in the fall, uh, but <laughs> to much surprise, Activision has not acknowledged which development team is going to be making the COD 2020 game. Like, we all thought it was going to be Treyarch, right? Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games? I mean, I don't know if that's been confirmed, but I mean, we know they're working together on a COD game. I don't know if that's going to be coming out this year or if that's coming out next year, COD 2021. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, it's really unusual for the company to not drop the name of the developer during the investor call of who's making the next COD game. I guess the people were asking them and they weren't, they weren't saying. So this is really, really suspect, fellas. Uh, I mean, I don't know why they would be keeping this under wraps. I mean... Infinity War just made modern safe space, so which pretty much eliminates them from making a COD 2020. Uh, and, and please, I, I hope so, man. I really hope Infinity War is not making two back-to-back -back COD games. Oh, my goodness. Which I think would be pretty impossible for them because it took them three years to make the COD game we have now. And Modern Warfare 2019 is loaded with bugs, game-breaking glitches, uh, extreme content drought. Like, the content is so lacking in that game, it's unbelievable. And that's a game they had three years to make. So, I don't think there's any way they're going to drop back-to-back -back COD games. I mean, no, nah, not unless they're trying to kill the franchise, man. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, all you got left is Sledgehammer Games and Treyarch and Raven. Um... I don't know, maybe Raven's making this year's COD? And Sledgehammer and and uh, Treyarch are making COD 2021? I mean, who knows? I mean, maybe there's a surprise development team. I mean, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games, uh, Raven, and Treyarch, maybe there's going to be a fifth development team. May what if Activision did this, fellas? What if somehow Activision just ate some crow, you know what I'm saying? Swallow that pride and called up Zampella and said, yo, Respawn Studios, we are sorry. We made a, the biggest mistake of our lives letting you guys get away. These new guys are terrible. We need you back, please. Uh, what if somehow Activision could get Respawn away from EA back into the COD universe? And what if Respawn is making COD 2020? What a bombshell that would be, man. Can you imagine the hype? Respawn Studios, Zampella back under the Activision umbrella, making another COD game. He hasn't made a COD game since Modern Warfare 2, man. And that game is regarded as the best COD game ever made. And I think that game is uh, <laughs> that game is super frustrating and a lot of problems in that game. But at least it's fun. And that's one thing a Call of Duty game has to be. It has to be fun. You cannot have a boring, tactical, can't move. Everybody sits in corners and windows. Uh, you, every game takes 10 minutes. You can't have a game like that. It's just terrible. Certain people like it somehow. I don't know. I don't get it, but I respect it, man. <laughs> I respect it, but yeah, so that's kind of far-fetched, though. I think Respawn coming in out of nowhere to develop COD 2020 is like a pipe dream. That's like a fantasy, but if it did happen, that would be pretty cool. What I think is much more realistic, guys, uh, is that there's a remaster coming in 2020. I think, here's what I think is going on. Treyarch and sledgehammer games don't have enough time man i mean pretty much treyarch was told out of the blue like yo you guys are gonna be developing the next cod game cod 2020 they were probably like yo wait a minute man we don't have enough time i mean we had three years to make black ops 4 and you saw all the problems that game had the strike team couldn't walk through the door the uh, rcxd couldn't go up a flight of stairs the mantis thought it was spider-man spider mantis climbing up walls uh, the flower pots were <laughs> blocking score streaks i mean Black Ops 4 had a lot of problems, man, and they had three years to make that game. And I know people be like, oh, Call of Duty used to make COD games every other year, and they were fine anyway. Yeah, guys, that's back in the day. Now, for whatever reason, after what we saw from Black Ops 4, th that game wasn't ready. Uh, Modern Warfare 2019, that game definitely wasn't ready. Uh, th three years is not enough time to make a COD game, but somehow 
It used to be enough time back in the day, but now for whatever reason, it's not enough time to make a good COD game. But they're supposed to make a COD game in a year and a half with Sledgehammer Games? I don't think so. Here's what I think is going to happen, and this is completely realistic, and it's something the community has been asking for. What if we just get a remaster in uh, 2020. What if COD 2020 is Modern Warfare 2 Remaster? It would make perfect sense because Modern Warfare just dropped. Now in 2020, you got Modern Warfare 2 Remaster. Uh, I mean, I think the game would be fun. I, I, I just said in my video not too long ago, I was like, I don't think Modern Warfare Remaster would survive in uh, in today's uh, era, fellas. But you know what? I would much rather have a Modern Warfare 2 Remaster drop than Sledgehammer and Treyarch come out here and release some garbage game that is bad because they didn't have enough time to work on it you know what i'm saying give these people enough time to make their game and drop that remaster baby and there is definitely remasters on the way fellas because during the fourth quarter investment call today activision came straight out and said they have several remasters and or reimagined titles in development that will be announced later in 2020 during that earnings call so yo I am excited, fellas, because listen, I mean, how often in life do you have a chance to go back and relive the glory years, man? There's a whole generation of Call of Duty gamers that missed out on the Modern Warfare 2 era. Now, if they could bring that back for this year, COD 2020, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered? Bro, I would much rather have that. Let Sledgehammer Games and Treyarch sit back, give them as much time as they need. And I do believe that the next game we see from Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games is going to be the Cold War era or the Vietnam era. Give them as much time as they need, man. Do not rush them. Just release the remasters, man. Activision, tell them remastered cards to come on in. I mean, bro, can you imagine the MW2 like just popping again on YouTube, man? Like, yo, we can bring back the glory days, man. You could have a uh, white boy over there getting his world's fastest nuke, Wings of Redemption, Scout Sniper, only use me Blade, be back running around Commando lunging people. I think Blade wouldn't use Commando. I think back in the day, that Blade was like, nah, nah, Commando was like for noobs, man. Blade, Blade went out there knifing without Commando, but the MW2 era was amazing here on YouTube, man. Sandy Ravage out there chasing nuke boosters all around, man. Bring that era back, damn it. We need the MW2 era back. Now, I did say a little while ago, I think it was like two commentaries ago, I'm like, yo, I don't think an MW2 remaster could survive in uh in today's call of duty universe man just with the skill-based matchmaking and and all the other garbage they put in the game but whatever man i'm i'm down to try it i would much rather have an mw2 remaster than some rushed uh garbage not finished game dude please just give sledgehammer and treyarch as much time as they need to make a cold war era boots on the ground masterpiece of a cod game with great maps and that's another thing man yo please black ops cold war or black ops vietnam whatever it's gonna be called please make the game ship with a lot of maps i am so bored playing on the same maps over and over again call of duty needs to drop with like 20 maps 20 maps needs to drop with and then you have like one free map a month and don't tell me you can't do it man call of duty needs a lot of maps you need tons of variety with the gameplay man I mean, you could have some maps like Modern Warfare, Safe Space. I mean, I'd be fine with a couple maps like that, but not all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to put a St. Petrograd or a Piccadilly. Did I say Piccadilly? No, 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 not Piccadilly. But if you want to put, like, a St. Petrograd or an Anya Palace, you know, maybe one or two of them. But have the majority of the maps close quarter fun maps, man. Like, uh, COD World at War. That's If I was sitting back to make a Call of Duty game, a remaster, that's what I would look at. I would look at the COD World at War maps. Those are the greatest maps in the franchise. You know what I'm saying? Yo, go back and just look at what you already made. Go back and look at the old style of maps that you guys have already made at World at War. Airfield, Hangar, Dome. I mean, bro, a Castle. I mean, so many epic maps. Uh, CeeLo. Even CeeLo was a great map. It had tanks on it. Yeah, Maddox Sweat, Spam, and ADS. Come on. -y. I dropped my strike team on him, though. So, yeah, I am hyped to play Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. And you know what, fellas? They've got other remasters on the way, too. So, hopefully, we see Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Hopefully, we see Black Ops 2 Remastered. Even Black Ops 1 Chopper Gun remaster. Come on in! Yo, I am excited, fellas. So, it's good to... Ooh, a little Thunder Bag action, baby. God, scoot that bag, son. Speed that bag. Oh, my God. So, uh good to yo i'll tell you one thing right now man they are going to announce these games this year too fellas sometime in 2020 they're going to be dropping the names of the remastered cods i think mw2 remaster is a definite i think black ops 2 remaster will also be a definite hopefully black ops 1 remaster also 
I mean, I'm more hyped about the remastered CODs than the new ones. I'll only be hyped about the new COD if it's done properly. Give Sledgehammer Games and Treyarch as much time as they need, Activision, and just roll out them remastered COD games. I think the remastered COD games, especially MW2 Remaster, would sell a ton of copies. I mean, look how many copies Modern Warfare 2019 sold just because it had the name Modern Warfare on it. Modern Warfare 2 Remaster will have the same effect. People will buy the game because it's the name. Modern Warfare 2 Remaster following Modern Warfare in 2019. It makes perfect sense. And I think everybody wins. The community wins because we get a fun COD game to play this year. Track and Sledgehammer Games get more time to perfect their game, which will give us a better product down the line. It's a win-win for everybody. So COD 2020 has to be Modern Warfare 2 Remaster. I'm calling it right now. What do you guys want to see? Would you guys want to see a rushed product from Treyarch in 2020 or MW2 Remaster in 2020? Let me know down in the comment section. Yo, I'm I'm ready to relive the glory days, boys. Yeah, give me my uh, my Tar 21 and my Claymores and my my A12 shotgun secondary. I'm gonna tell them nukes to come on in, camp it in the TV shop and crash. Oh baby. <laughs> Anyway, fellas, if you enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to like it, share it, all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for the support. I'll see you on the next one.